Congratulatory stresses that the crisis in Syria has yielded odd and inhumane phenomena which contradict with the Syrian people's values and international charters. And the Russian Foreign Ministry criticizes the United States Secretary of State's proposal on transporting chemical weapons from Syria. And at least 19 Iraqis killed in several terrorist attacks. Syrian Alt Revision in Damascus. Syria's permanent representative to the United Nations, Bashar al-Jafri, stressed that Syria is one of the pioneering countries in the Arab and Islamic worlds in ensuring all requirements for enabling women and empowering them and improving their situation. Jafari said in a speech at the United Nations Security Council's session on women, rule of law and transitional justice that the crisis in Syria has exuded odd and inhumane phenomena which contradict with the Syrian people's values and international charters. He added that women in Syria assume the vice president post, while in some countries they are prevented from driving a car. al Jafri asserted that those countries will spare no effort through offering money to undermine the socio-economic security and legislative progress in Syria for subjugating its independent national political decision. al Jafri expressed serious deep concern over the deterioration of the security situation in the camps which host the displaced Syrians in neighboring countries, indicating that the Syrian women and girls are suffering from the highest levels of insecurity in addition to being exposed to violations against humanity like rape and illegal marriage. The Russian Foreign Ministry criticized the United States Secretary of State John Kerry's proposal on transporting chemical weapons from Syria aboard ships outside the region to be dismantled there. He, the ministry said that it is premature to talk about specific issues regarding the dismantling of chemical weapons as the worker group in charge of destroying chemical weapons in Syria is currently meeting in The Hague to discuss various techniques for doing so. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Chago stressed that the Syrian crisis and the latest events there questioned the United Nations' role, asserting that the efforts exerted by the Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Russian diplomatic steps affirm the necessity of bringing back the active role of the United Nations. Chago clarified in a statement to journalists in Moscow that the Syrian crisis raised a great concern in the whole world due to the increasing tensions, especially after the American and Western threats to launch an aggression against Syria. Schweigo considered that direct communication between Russia and its allies in South America in the framework of technical military cooperation is not related to the crisis in Syria. Minister of Information Amran Zobi affirmed that the scene in Syria became crystal clear to all with regard to the nature of the conflict and the conflicting parties. In an article published in a thorough newspaper under the title of Reading the Syrian Scene, Zobi said that this scene was part of a regional scene in which stories of the so-called Arab Spring and the People's Revolution were narrated, enabling extremists to assume power in Egypt, Libya and Tunisia. Azabi stressed that the political tracks were the first option for the Syrian state for the, from the very beginning of the aggression. In our local news, a number of citizens were wounded as a terrorist blew himself up inside a car bomb on the entrance of Jalamana city in Damascus countryside. An official source said that the suicide terrorist blew himself up inside a car bomb with big quantity of explosive in the surrounding of Tamiko Company for Medical Industries, injuring 50 citizens, the majority of them in a critical condition. The source added that the explosion caused big material damage to the citizens, properties in the place. Meanwhile, a source at the police command in Damascus countryside said that terrorists targeted with mortar shells the houses of civilians in the neighborhoods of al Homsi, Al-Nasim, Al-Tlayli and Al-Tirba in Jeramana, causing the injury of a woman and a young man.
government resource said that the Syrian Arab army units clashed with armed terrorist groups that tried to attack Aleppo Central Prison and killed and injured all the assailants and destroyed their weapons. According to the sources, all members of the terrorist groups were killed and wounded in Asfira, the area surrounding cotton gins, a tractor's factory, and villages of al jadeide Quelis and Rasm al -Aboud. The source added that an army unit clashed with a terrorist group while trying to sneak into Dahlat Abid Rabbo in al Moon and killed all the group members. A military source said that units of the armed forces carried out a series of operations in the villages of Al Hamidiyah and the surrounding of Wadi Daif in Idlib countryside, destroying dozens of tunnels with all weapons and ammunition inside them, killing all terrorists inside them. The source added that terrorist attempts to remotely detonate 11 explosive devices weighing between 25 to 50 kilograms planted in the area surrounding Wadi Daif was foiled. Army units eliminated all members of an armed terrorist group and destroy their weapons and ammunition north of Abu Dhur Airport, Kafirnubul, Majdaliya and Serja in Idlib countryside. Moving to Homs, where the Syrian Arab Army units eliminated armed terrorist groups and destroyed a number of hideouts and an anti-aircraft machine gun in several villages and towns. Military sources clarifying that the Syrian Arab Army units killed or injured members of armed terrorist groups in al warsha Al-Hamidiyya and Qurba al khazin neighborhoods in al dar al-Kabira village and destroyed their weapons and ammunition. The Syrian Arab army also eliminated 20 terrorists who were in a vehicle in a Shomariya mountain in Homs countryside and destroyed an anti-aircraft machine gun and varieties of ammunition. At least 19 people were killed in several terrorist attacks in Iraq. 12 people were killed when a car bomb exploded in a street full of shoppers in an eastern Baghdad neighborhood. Police officials said that the blast took place in the capital's Mashtal neighborhood. The blast occurred in an, near an ice cream shop as people were getting out, marking the last day of Eid al-Adha. A spokesperson for the Iraqi Ministry of Interior said that unknown gunmen killed a mother and her three children in their house in al Mosul. In Baquba, two people were killed and five others wounded as a result of a terrorist blast to the north of the city. A man was killed near a checkpoint for As-Sahwa forces. With this, we come to the end of our news for today. More details on our website, www.syrianonline.sy. Animal feed and the latest in Syrian agriculture and things to be distributed to Syrian farmers. In addition to other news in our economic news, but after the break.